Hi everyone, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back to share some embellishments that I made a butt ton of these past few days. I don't know what it is, but when I start to create something, especially embellishments, I like to do it assembly line style, so I tend to go overboard, and you'll see that. But also, um, there weren't a lot of videos from me last week because I was very busy working on some birthday gifts for my friend Anna. Hey Anna! She has Serenity Creations here on YouTube and she celebrated a birthday last week and I spent days on days on days getting um, stuff prepared and created and wait till you guys see what I made. Um, I haven't posted any videos on them yet because Anna has a tendency to peek. So, until we meet up and she actually gets it in her hands, um, I won't be posting any videos unless it takes too long for us to coordinate a time to see each other, then I will go ahead. So, regardless of that, I just wanted to explain why I was a little MIA last week. But on to these embellishments. So the first one was actually um, inspired by Anna. She had made these um, sequin clusters and I wasn't going to do it until I had some leftover sequins when I created a mix. So I went ahead and created them. So here are what they look like. Let me zoom in a little bit. And these are not all of them. I actually packaged some of them up already to gift. So these are the remaining ones. So I have either the one inch circles or the hearts. This heart is a Martha Stewart punch. I did go ahead and double layer the cardstock just because I have a heavy hand, especially with adhesive, and I use several different types of glue because, if you guys can believe it, I ran out of glossy accents. So I used some jewelry glaze for a portion of it, as well as my art glitter glue and some Distress Collage Medium by Tim Holtz. So I have it in like three colorways. So I have it in the pink and blue, the purple and blue, and the pink and yellow. So I think they came out super cute and oh so sparkly. So these were a lot of fun to make. The only thing is, at least with mine, it was hard to keep the bits and pieces on the edges, so I kept thinking that I need to go over them and over them, but I finally said, you know what, that's just how they are. Um, so there is a mixture of sequins and seed beads, confetti, um, some micro beads, all that fun stuff that I normally put into a shaker. So these are the sequin clusters that I created. So the next embellishment that I created are some mini pinwheels. And this was my inspiration. I got a bag of these from Tuesday morning quite a while ago and I just rediscovered them when I was going through my stash. So if you can see this, I don't know, type of paper is very flimsy. I mean, I can just kind of squish it down. And I don't remember if there were sticks in them. I imagine that there were, but what I love about these is that they actually spin. So I actually discarded all of these and kept just the, the mechanism. So let me show you what I created. So here are my mini pinwheels. These are all made out of doodlebug paper. I broke into my doodlebug stash and created these. Some of them I actually had two bags of these. Some of them have the wider holder, so I had to use this, I believe it's like a 1 8 inch dowel 
that I just cut down. I painted these dowels rose gold and the smaller skinnier ones I painted um, with just gold paint. So the greatest thing about this is that if I blow on it, it spins. I love making pinwheels that actually spin. So, so can you guys see the, the glittery parts on the blades of the pinwheel? I used my favorite crystal stickles and just kind of brushed it on. I did edge each one of the pinwheel um, sections with a coordinating distress ink. The only thing I really don't like is like, you know, this yellow and red center, but in order for them to move, I can't really do anything about that. So I created two of each color. Well, no, some of them, it just depended on the scraps that I had. So here's another one with a skinnier stick. I love that. Isn't that so much fun? For this polka dotted one, I actually just put the stickles on the dots. Very messily. I didn't try to go all perfect on it, but... I mean, I can just sit here and play with this all day. It is so much fun. And as you can see, I created a butt ton of them. So I cannot wait to gift some of these to some crafty friends. Like I love this one with the rainbows on it. And then this one has the unicorns. These I only made one of each because I only had um, these little scraps and I didn't want to um, break into another piece of cardstock. But um, for these, they're, they're great for scraps because it's only um, two by two. So I cut these two by two and I kind of freehand did the little cuts to create this shape. So let me know what you guys think. These are so much fun. I love these. And I'm really glad that I picked these um, up in like the party section at Tuesday morning when I saw them because I knew this is exactly what I wanted to do with them. So those are my embellishments that I created in bulk. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are still staying safe and healthy out there and having a great week and I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye everyone.